What is going on guys? So as you know, I just recently bought a Porsche. Yes. It is due for an oil change now. So I went to O'Reilly and I got all the stuff that I need. All you need is about eight quarts of oil. In my case, it's OW40. Mobile one, I guess this is kind of the best oil to get for the Cayman. And then you just need a filter. I went with a Wix filter. And then we need this special little tool to take off the oil filter called the cap wrench. And then eight millimeter Allen to take off the drain plug. So yeah, I've never done an oil change on a German car or on a Porsche. So this will be my first time. And honestly, it seems just as easy as any other car, which is gonna be really nice. Drain plug's right here. Oil filter is in here. So let's get to it. I feel like it's just gonna explode out of here. I really hope it doesn't because I really don't want to get soaked right now. But full send. Ooh, we're good. We're golden. So this is not a crush washer, so I'll be able to reuse this. Typically, I don't like reusing washers, but since this one looks really good, we should be good to reuse this one. I let that drain for about five minutes and then we can take off the filter. So I just ordered wrap for it. Going with kind of a crazy color, something I wouldn't have, wouldn't have normally done, but I guess that'll be like the first mod of the Porsche. But I'm extremely stoked for that. But that is as far as I'm gonna go into it right now. Enough of that, let's get back to the car. I think I've given it, given it enough time to drain. So before I put this in actually, I'm gonna drain the filter up here. Now I'm gonna get that snazzy little filter over here. Hey, yo. Okay, I'm gonna have to forfeit this and set the camera down for a second. Okay, so unfortunately I made an oopsie and I got the wrong size wrench for the filter. I don't know how I messed that up. But anyways, I'm gonna make a quick run to O'Reilly. Time to go for little Ripperuski. All right, so we got one, but I think it's gonna be too big, but we're gonna give it a shot. And if not, I have another way to make it work. Round two. Let's see if this will fit. And that is way too big. Rip. All right, plan C. I think my only other option right now is gonna be using this, which I do not want to do, but I'm gonna have to. If I break the plastic, I can always get another one, but kind of in a time crunch right now. Here we go. So I'll just have to go to Porsche and get the right size filter or buy one online. But for now, this will be okay. Shout out to the babe for holding the camera. Oh, we're golden. Here we go. So I just need to replace this um, O-ring and then this filter should just pop out. Just like that. And now we can put the new one in. Yep, just pops in. And then new one goes up. Okay, I feel like that should be tight enough.
So before I start it, I kind of want to see what it says right now. So I'm going to hit the function. Pull that towards me. Oh, sick. It says it's at full level. Should be good to start it up. Then I can check it a little bit later and see what it says. Let it run for a sec. That should be good. Now we can check the level again. So it says I have to wait about a half hour before it can tell me again. So overall, it was a really easy oil change. I kind of thought it would be a little bit harder because it's a Porsche, but yeah, it was a lot easier than I thought it would be. And definitely saved me a ton. I mean, it was just the cost of all the stuff, which altogether was about like, I think I want to say $70, but if you take it to Porsche, it's more around 200 to have it done. So if you can do it yourself, definitely do it because it'll save you a lot in the long run. That is it for today. Um, thank you so much for watching.